Hi, I'm Christiana Cargill, and this is a behind-the-scenes look at the making of Metamorphosis. I named the album Metamorphosis to um, express a departure for me musically, doing a Celtic album, uh, which was very much like a coming home to my heritage. Many of the old ballads that I'm singing about are about soldiers and men that died uh, for a cause, but they really live on through these songs, so it's a great honor to get to sing about them. It's like their own transitioning into another life by uh, living on through the songs. The musicians on the album were all just A-list incredible. I was so lucky to work with, with these people. Christo Polani is my longtime bandmate and friend. Uh, Wonderful percussionist. Got him to play Bones on this album. That was, that was fun. I don't know what the hell the words are. Look around the bloom and heather, we are gold, I see gold. That's pretty sad. You ever hear that song? No. Um, I worked with Bob Malone, uh, a longtime friend. I uh, had a song, Whiskey, on a Sunday that just had a different vibe to it and needed something else, and I called him up and said, I know it sounds odd, but I need accordion on my Celtic album. And uh, it worked, and he was great. He was just a hoot, if people still use that word. If you use the word hoot, it's Bob Malone. Wait till you use always remind me of Catherine Hepburn. Like <laughs> Catherine yeah. Hepburn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet child of mine. <laughs> so go back to the beginning of that <laughs> section that, that leads into that ending. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are those more musical terms? Yeah, that's right, exactly. More technical. <laughs> this is the, the we are now on the part section. called Weird Ending. <laughs> <laughs> you can see right here. Weird Ending. Weird Ending. Yeah. I got to work with a cellist, violinist, and flautist to give the album a more intimate chamber music kind of feel. All just top-notch instrumentalists really added a great element to this album. Carter Dewberry played cello, Paul McIntyre on violin, Rebecca Kleinman on flute, Sean Kinney on background vocals on Gentle Spirit, which was a song that I wrote with my mother. So that was a very nice element to sing that with my boyfriend. It gave it that personal feel that I was looking for. Uh, we recorded in my house, in my parents' house, on my childhood piano. And uh, I really think that it captured what I was going for, which was this very intimate, uh, this intimate feel, this kind of insight into who I am, what my heritage is about, um, and who I am as a musician. Working with David was a lot of fun. We've known each other for many years. Uh, he moved away to London, and uh, it was about that time when we decided to do an album together. Uh, so it was several months off, several months on, um, and we'd get things when we could. Sometimes we'd have to kamikaze through the weekend, but we always had a lot of fun and uh, just made it a playful experience. Kamikaze editing, yeah, there were some long days. This is our serious Actually, editing pose. Only have the ooze in every chorus. That's what I would do, because I'm David Peters. <laughs> Is it right? I think so. What would you do? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that was fine. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be a handlebar game. Can, yeah. you, can you do some swirls? <laughs> <or anything? laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, I blocked that out. <laughs> What, what are you doing, honey? I was putting on my makeup because somebody's filming me. Um, I don't have any makeup. On. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember. <laughs> I love writing instrumental pieces, especially for film scoring, so I did that on this album as well and wrote two original instrumental pieces. Uh, to really capture the landscape, the mood and feel of Ireland and Scotland. Uh, in particular, a place called Isle of Skye in Scotland that I had uh, traveled to when I was about 21. One of my very favorite places in the world. So the first track is about that. 
it's interesting singing the songs live, how many people love these songs and uh, have known them since they were children and sing along and um, it speaks to people in very special ways. There's something about Celtic music that's just so honest and raw and um, it's a really neat way to share with my audience and, um, and to feel connected to each other. Thank you for buying the album, thank you for your support, um, thank you for coming to shows. I really wouldn't get to do what I do without you, so, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now go forth and be prosperous. Enjoy! Bye! Love you! And we're recording the Academy card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying, Sean, baby? Hey, man. Yo, daddy. <laughs> Are you getting B roll? <laughs> or A roll? <laughs> You're an A roll. You're an A roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll make good behind the scenes footage. <laughs> David <wanted> to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Should I just get a chair, you think? Where is that? You ready? Yeah. That's not my song. <laughs> through the back of the enhanced seat. <laughs> well, that's going well, in. <laughs> we're in the studio. We <laughs> are at last beast. Jeez! Are my boobs, are my fake boobs showing? Yeah. Yeah, that was gold. Yeah, did you get that?